Now, there's a lot of black men in here, and I don't mean to, you know, not talk to other people, but this is important. Our black men, we got to get them out to vote. That's number one. Kamala's opponent promised a lot of things last time to the black community that he did not deliver on. And we got to make sure we help black men understand that. So that's why I'm here to make sure I understand, help black men understand. First, get out and vote, and then vote for the next president of the United States, Kamala Harris. For those who don't know, oh, first of all, today is still, I'm, I'm on it, I'm on it, y'all. I was about to leave, go check on my car, and I happened to see that clip right there. And I was like, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. So first of all, today is still Thursday, October 10th. 2024. Supposed to be done with these videos. We got to get it while the getting is good. So I saw that clip, right? Oh, and thank y'all for tuning in. And as y'all can see, I'm, a, I'm, I'm classified as a black man, even though I'm not black. Like, that's black right there. But politically, de my political designation, you know, in America, I'm a black man. I'm a designated black man, like what he talking about. And for some reason, he feels like they got to help me and other black men like me understand why we should be voting for Kamala. Because without them helping me, I have no clue what I'm doing. I ain't got good sense. I'm an idiot. So therefore, I need him and his infinite wisdom and other men like him, that's for her, I need them to help me understand. Because I don't understand on my own. I'm too stupid. Kamala, you failing. You getting worse and worse and worser. Worser is. You fail with Oprah. That didn't work. Now you got the magic man. I was a Chicago Bulls Michael Jordan fan, so you already messed up with that one. My question, though, why y'all singling out black men? Why, since when, have y'all gave a damn about a black man? Who gives a damn about black men? Lately, we've been popular around this bit. The black man and who he want to vote for. It ain't even a whole lot of us that can vote. And there ain't a whole lot of us that want to vote, that can vote. There's a lot of black men say, I ain't voting for nothing. I don't believe in voting. I hear that all the time. Why are they after the black man like that? Singling him out. I don't, there's other people in here, but the black man. When there's more black women than black men. Especially that vote. What the hell y'all care about us for? Just another way to emasculate. Disrespect. Another slight at the black man's intelligence. We're under attack. Subtly. Subtle. It ain't, it ain't just, they talk about them damn Republicans, how they hate us. And then you steady attacking our intelligence. 
We, you're not saying you got to help the white man understand. Why you ain't got to help the white man understand? Why you got to help the black man understand? Somebody help me out here. Because obviously I'm an idiot because Magic Johnson feels he needs to, and him and whoever else in their little crew, need to help the black man understand. Because without their guidance, we don't understand. Us walking away from the Democrat Party, that's, we stupid. We're not thinking properly. They need to show us the way. Because Trump made us a lot of promises that he didn't keep. And we supposed to be so stupid to believe you. Like we ain't lived through it. Like I was, we, who's that guy that just slept for years with a rumple still skin? Y'all remember that old fable or whatever, rumple still skin? Or, well, I forgot, it, it was I was a kid. He slept for a long time. Who do you think black men are? That guy? We, we were asleep during President Trump's presidency. And we were asleep during Biden's presidency. Well, we ain't see what happened. We weren't able to see the differences between the two. Black men were somewhere asleep. I ain't paying, we just somewhere, what, what you thought was the liquor store drunk? The old stereotypical black bomb. Were we somewhere bombing change? While, while Trump was in office and while Biden was in office, the black man was somewhere, what, making babies that he ain't going to take care of? What else horrible we was doing as black men to where we don't understand what's going on? Y'all need to help us understand because we, we just, we clueless. The black man. What were we doing? Drive-bys? All of us somewhere selling drugs? Living in the hood. What a black man was during Trump's presidency. Well, we don't know what he did. You telling us he ain't do nothing. We ain't see the economy how it was booming. Guys like me that was in business and they're still in business, we ain't see how the economy was rolling under him. We ain't see that. He made the black community, the black men, a lot of promise. He ain't promised nothing. The Democrats did all the promising the black people. He ain't promised us nothing. He asked us what we got to lose. We might as well support him what we got to lose. I remember that. He asked for the black vote. But he ain't make a bunch of promises. He asked us what you got to lose. You been voting Democrat all the years and ain't getting nothing. You might as well give me a shot. What do you have to lose? Remember that speech? They, they just, oh, he's a racist. I can't believe he said that. I feel for it too. Now I look back on it and I think about it. What did we have to lose? We wasn't getting nothing from the Democrats. Might as well take a chance. And that's the way I feel now. What do I have to lose? I ain't getting nothing from the demos. Might as well get another, get, try something else. What do I have to lose? If he sunk, I was already skinned up anyway. But I know he ain't going to suck because I seen him in office before. I just, at that time, I, back then I was an idiot. I wouldn't give credit where credit is due. That man did a hell of a job. I wasn't willing to acknowledge that until the Democrats got in office. I can't. I can't believe y'all. You're going to insult us that like that. Flat out insult the black man. And then expect us to vote for you. Expect us to support you. But you just flat out called us stupid. That's what you're doing. By saying what you just said, Magic. You have to help us understand, you know, the black man. I know there's other people in here, but the black man, we got, why are you singling us out, man? Let us be. 
Since when have anybody, when have you cared about the black man? Since when have anybody really gave a damn about what the black man doing, his plight in America, what he got going on? Since when? But now the black man is so important. You got to help us understand. You got to help me do a damn thing. Trump 2024. Get it, got it good. Bye.